Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one we're going to be reacting to Legend of Vox Machina, episode 7 called Scanbo. Um, yeah, weird name. Um, recap? Um, Vox actually made it into, well it's a bit of a jailbreak actually. Um, we find yeah. out that they, um, one of his friends is still alive, childhood friends still alive. So they're basically... Um, Who's the leader of the resistance. Yeah, Archibald. Um, so basically they, they, they break him out. Um, and then right at the end, we realize that Percy's sister's still alive. Cassandra, um, but yeah. Yeah, but the, uh, the, the end scene is where she's standing with uh, Delilah and uh, Silas, I think it is. Um, so we don't know whether she's been turned or whether she's in league with them. We don't know yet. Mm. Um, and yeah, um, that was pretty much it. Obviously, Scanlon's got his uh, fashionista icon out with his. He wanted a beret for trying to do a job. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't get one. Yeah. Instead, he got his chucked on him. Um, st uh, uh, Percy got to sort of knock one of the names off the barrels on his gun. Yes. Um, yeah. Stone fell. Yes. I can't remember if it was yeah, Captain yeah. Stonefell. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was a captain, so it was a captain, captain right. Yeah. Okay. But in that moment, we see him kind of, um, he's wearing his mask, and then he takes it off, and his eyes are like black. Yeah, they're black. Black and orange. And we still can figure out whether he's possessed, or that's just yeah. like an alter ego, or he's made a deal with the devil kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but let's see what happens in this one. Um, episode 7, Scambo. Let's check it out. White stone. Mined from our very mountain. When refined, it is known by another name. Residuum glass, Professor Anders. Oh. Residuum is a potent arcane amplifier. <gasps> now we know why the Briarwoods came here. They were talking oh, about okay. residuum earlier. Yeah. Um, the Briarwoods. And obviously, amplifiers arcane. So... They could be trying to resurrect someone. Whitestone could help. Yeah. Well, it might be to do with their gods from the book. Word on my <laughs> refinery proposal. Anders, we've been over this. Yes, but with enough funding, we could triple our residuum production. More is not always better. Your advice is always illuminating. See you at dinner, dears. <sighs> so now we know why he turned. You'll never appreciate the potential here. How could you? <laughs> when everything is given and nothing is earned. <laughs> wow, he's proper... proper yeah. yeah, he's no need to snap back at the kids. Pray you never wake to find reality knocking at your door. Yeah, he's a prick. Oh. This is so messed up. I mean, they probably know you're here. When well, they know you're here, talking, you can cut them down. The fuck happened? Saw your eyes. The pepper box is a potent tool. I, I may have gotten carried away. Pepper box. If you turn that thing on any of us again, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. The creation of the pepper box begins five years ago. With my family murdered, I had no way of striking back. I fled. I feared the Dorolo name was a death sentence, so I disappeared. My nights filled with fear, blood, and cruel nightmares. Oh God, that's so messed up. That's a mad, <clears throat> mad, mad trauma. Hatred inside me grew. Vengeance burning hotter than black powder, nearly consuming me. I dreamt of this. Yikes, no wonder he's single. <laughs> Do you normally build instruments of death you find in dreams? Not the first time I've been inspired. Does it matter where it came from? Kind of, yeah. Sundry? Oh, here we go, she might bring it back to life. What happened <clears throat> to you? Oh, it's like got darkness inside it. Mm. Okay, so she can sort of. Okay. No, it's just no, it's proper gone. dying. 
Professor Anders, Anna Ripley, the Briarwoods, and until about an hour ago, Kyrian Stonefell. Okay, we have names. But that's five names. Who's the sixth barrel for? Hmm? Fire! Oh, oh no! God. Oh, Kaelith. <laughs> Fucking made it worse. <laughs> Inside? Why not just announce where our hideout is while you're at it? All right, you made your point. It was an accident. Cool it. A real chance of reclaiming Whitestone here. Are you sure you wanna? I mean, this town ain't even got any ale. <laughs> Priories. Right now, I'm only thinking about my sister. Ugh. Guess they're a close knit family. Eh? You know what I'm saying? Shut, Shut up. Okay, <laughs> now, Scanlon. The noble Darolo residences. Briar would hand them out as prizes to the cronies. Stonefell got one. Their enforcer, Duke Vedmai, lives in the one we passed earlier. Vedmai, he's the other guy. He's the guy that was Big punching guy. Archie, yeah. And ripped yeah. the air off him. There's a million guards and we'll die a thousand deaths. Um, is that a lot? <laughs> Cassandra is the Briarwood's prize hostage. Freeing her would be a massive blow. The whole city would take up arms. Oh, oh! What if I lure the guards away from the house? How do you come up with these jokes? <laughs> now is not the time to be cute. I am not cute. Maybe listen to his plan. I can create a distraction while you save Percy's sister. It worked what last time when they were at the feast. Distraction. With his little uh, jewel box. That, that bruiser, Venkman. Dead Maya. Yes. I'll burn down <laughs> his motherfucking house. A fire that big would be seen across Whitestone. I mean, it's not a bad plan. He's not. He's <laughs> unlikely to get horny from the, from where he is now to the Ben Meyer's house. Well, that and also he's he's quite small. He can, yeah. Let me be annoying. He's got yeah, a point. I feel like this. I feel like this is a sing along coming along here. Don't worry about me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I was with him he no until idea. he said that last sentence. Yeah, and he said he that no now, now it's all gonna go tits up. <laughs> God, I love every this is so jokes every time he does that. Uh oh, that's a person. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, he's on the toilet. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh. Fucking look good. Roll to see if you hit me. Ah. Hi. He's just making all the wrong decisions. Pull out your flute. Playing D D. To your health. Oh. oh no. No. Yeah, I really thought that would do something. It has like different effects on him. Sometimes he's like. Uh... It's so weird. <laughs> Please tell me you have another potion in there. I think he. I think he's got a few. Please be something good. Come on. I thought this was seventy-four Whitestone Drive, but it must be seventy-four Whitestone Ave. <laughs> oh. oh! More jokes. Oh, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight him. Oh, oh my wow. God! He's got fire breath. It's turned into like a dragon. And he's burning the house down. Which can be. It's not. It's, you know what? It's like he's puking fire. He's not. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not. He's not. Okay. Uh, no. 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 Tempting, but not the right time. Heat. <laughs> it's a debate. Never, never. I don't think it's gonna. It might bring everything alive. That's what I was thinking. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, it's and him. Speak. Oh, right. That's a brilliant transformation spell. Mm. Almost. Oh, no, oh, ran no. out. Doors. Door. Another door. <laughs> yeah. You're a tiny maggot, but your head will still mount nicely on my wall. Kick him on the balls. The longer we wait, the more we risk being discovered. On my shot, we move. Let's not be rash, Percy. Holy shit. He did it. Damn right he did. And he did it stealthily. And there were no problems. 
Hold on. There could be a trap. <sighs> Not everything's a trap, you twit! Oh god. This is gonna be a trap. Uh, oh god. No. <laughs> oh man, he's getting bad. Oh, wait, please, please. <laughs> Flip him off. Oh, oh that is epic. Oh my god, that is epic. Oh. oh. They are fucked now. Oh, oh wow. my <laughs> god. <laughs> No, they're all dead. That's the professor. Yeah. He's got a bullet with your name on it. Brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. Penis cannon. <laughs> oh my god, he actually oh, took mate, him out. Actually, actually... <laughs> <laughs> You've been a lovely audience. <laughs> and don't forget don't to tip your server. I don't think he's dead. Okay, I, I, oh, I think he might be dead. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, God. Anders! <laughs> Careful, Percy. Yeah, you might be walking into do something. You might be walking into a trap again as well. Always early to class, Percival. Release her, Anders. That's an order. An order. You seem to think this is a negotiation. Don't! <gasps> oh. oh, fuck. Oh, shoot him now. I don't know if she... That's... Is that her? Oh, it is. It might be her. It's her. Oh, shit. We're going to see... Uh, it's the end you of the episode. Oh my, oh my god. god. Uh, I thought we were going to see him transform there. I thought he was just literally just all the black stuff's just going to come out of the sides and just. I mean, I'm pretty sure Anders is dead in the next episode. Let's be real. I, I, I don't know how Anders is going to make it out of there. He's killed his sister in front of him. Again, he thought his sister was dead. He thought Cassandra was dead. She's not. He's seen her alive yeah. again after so many years. Now she's and now he's seen her dead again in front of me. There's no way Anders survives. Um, it was a good episode. It was quite good, Scandin, actually. A question is, I question sometimes, does he do anything more than singing? But he actually did really well in that. Uh, more, so, the... more so than singing, I'd sometimes think that, um, like, he doesn't think he doesn't think things through. No, no, no. no or he's yeah, unlucky. He thinks with his with his private parts more than anything. I think that's probably what it he, is. But... He's, either, he's either unlucky when he's doing his plan, or he's lucky that it somehow happens to Works. work and the I end kind of thing. I think that's all of them though. I think, like I said, they have a plan and nothing ever goes to plan, but somehow it gets it gets done. It gets resolved, yeah. Um, but yeah, that that penis cannon thing was funny. <laughs> uh, that was really funny, and the fact that it was floating away in the little thing, I was just like, that's just... <laughs> um, uh. Okay, well, the majority of the episode was basically it was Scanlan heavy and, and him... Essentially, all of it was him trying to make that distraction so that they can get to Cassandra, and technically we, it's we... all a failure. Yeah. Are we well, what? I guess the Duke... Are we assuming that the Duke is dead? because his house blew up. Who? Um, what do you mean, Vedmire? Yeah, the Duke. Yeah, that's his. That's his nickname. Yeah. 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 He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. He's, He's definitely dead. dead. He was on the roof. He's definitely so they are, dead. They are and he wasn't a main. Him off. He wasn't a main character because otherwise no. he'd have his name on on the gun. Um, yeah. 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 I think no. I think he did have his name on the gun, but I think it was more. Uh, no. 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 When he was. No, no, I didn't. He was naming them in the episode. He was like, oh, this person. It was Anders, the Briarwoods, and another woman. A woman. Oh, I, yes, I, I, yes, can't, I, can't, I can't remember what the name was. Um, yeah, so I don't think uh, he definitely wouldn't have, wouldn't have survived that. Yeah. It was uh, That entire portion was just for a distraction. Um, and it just failed because... It either f it failed because, obviously, they needed to get Cassandra out of the uh, Kestrel. Is it Kestrel? Like a nickname? 
Special is the nickname, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but that failed. But also, now that she's dead, there's nothing stopping the like everyone rallying together because that was what was holding them back. They were, she was a hostage, essentially. Yeah. It was like a... Do you know what I found clever about that episode, actually, is if you were actually playing the game, if you're actually playing Dungeons and Dragons, for example, the potion bit, it'd be like, okay, you've got a choice of one, two, three potions. Mm. Which one do you want to take? And then the dungeon master saying, oh, well, okay, fine. The first one is you become small and the second one, you, you know. So it's kind of like you can, you can almost well, I, I, I won't, I won't, I won't, we won't, I won't see it now. But once we've watched enough episodes, I'll go back and and watch the yeah. critical yeah, run yeah, episode yeah. of where where that it does take place and see the the similarities. Yeah. But it's yeah, got, yeah. yeah I, I do agree it's... with you. It's probably hilarious. Yeah. What they've actually yeah. done. and it is quite it is quite smart the way they've done that. Um, to, although to us, because it's like what was the second potion? Oh, he goes small. He becomes small. He goes, yeah. The first one was yeah, he just he vanishes. Second one, he goes yeah. small, and third one, he just. No, so what is the third one? He turns into one of the monsters that Vedmire hunted? Is that what it was? No, no, the third one is when he starts breathing fire and then oh, yeah. he basically the, he reads the scroll and that's Oh that's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. And he yeah, sings yeah. it instead of saying it. Um yeah. yeah. All in all, great episode. Um episode, yeah. let us know your thoughts. What do you think of the the episode? Are there any bits again that we missed yeah. out? Let us know. Um but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.